Hey Core Reporters and newbies, if you watched part one of the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion last night, then you saw as well as I did that Andy Cohen, host of the reunions, um, has officially had it with Candace Dillard Bassett. It was so obvious. First of all, when she was talking about like, you know, the verbal confrontations that she gets to with other women, particularly Mia, first of all, the Yo Mama comment was the highlight of the entire reunion episode. Like they kept on harping on it, which was interesting to me because there were a lot more um, nasty things than that spewed throughout the season, you know, by Candace, by Karen, by Giselle, um, and by other people as well, Ashley as well, namely. So why we were harping on Yo Mama in particular, I don't know, but I digress. Anyway, Andy basically asked Candace, like, you know, how all of those clapbacks were working out for her and then basically said, listen, like, you got attacked last season. You know, you kind of maybe brought that on yourself. You're the common denominator nominator and all of your physical confrontations, etc., etc. And then he even went as far as to say, listen, I wake up almost every day with like hundreds of people begging me to fire you. So it really does seem as though this is something that Andy kind of wants to happen to Candace. Listen, Andy doesn't have the power to hire and fire housewives. Let's keep that real. He's just the face of the Bravo network. He's just the host. He's just the talking heads. He does not have casting decisions anymore. But I think that ever since the book he released with David Quinn came out with all the behind the scenes housewives tea, he has really had it times 10 with Candace. I don't think he ever liked her, but now he especially doesn't like her because in the book, Candace basically came for his child. He was like, you know, Andy comes for, uh, you know, he profits off of all of this like dysfunction going on with us women. He uses us to put clothes on his back and feed his child and stuff, which in my opinion was going way too far. There's no need to bring people's children into it, but Candace really never knows where to draw the line in her drags or anything like that. So now in regards to Andy referring to all the people begging him to fire Candace, Candace is calling him a propagandist. And let's see why. A Twitter user by the name of Hillary posted the clip of Andy talking about everyone wanting him to fire Candace uh, with a caption that reads, and I quote, y'all, I can't. Andy, we've been screaming from every part of the world to fire Lisa Rinna. Freaking hold Erica Jane accountable accountable. But Candace's mouth is where you bring the heat? What in the F? And then the Heffa Giselle coming in condoning physical violence. So she's really calling all of the hypocrisy there. And it is true. A lot of viewers, myself included, have been begging for Lisa Rinna to be fired from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. There have also been calls for um, Ramona Singer to be fired from the Real Housewives of New York City. Yes, there are calls for Candace to be fired from Housewives of Potomac, but that's not the only one. It's just the only one that he's brought to the show as if to kind of like push that train along. So Candy retweeted this tweet and said, at this point, it's propaganda. As if to say that everybody um, on that network, Andy, maybe even Giselle, Mia, etc., are all just trying to make her look as bad as possible to try and push people towards disliking her rather than just taking into account the stuff that she's done and make our own decision for ourselves. Guys, do you really think it's propaganda that Andy Cohen brought that comment up about everybody begging for him to fire Candy? Candace. And do you think he's a little biased when he tells Candace how's that working out for you and basically tells her that she deserved that fade that she caught last season? And last question. Is Yo Mama really the worst thing that was said all season? Broken W-H-O-R-E from Hampton University, G from Karen to Giselle. Giselle. After Giselle accused Karen of being an alcoholic and she accused her of cheating on her husband. After Giselle brought yet another fake cheating rumor about someone's husband to the show. After Candace bullied Mia about her appearance like crazy and Ashley as well. After Ashley made a snark remark about Alzheimer's to Gordon, uh, Mia's husband, and after Ashley did that sheet flapping of the wind about L Mia's nether regions. I'm actually a little bit stunned that that is the hill that the cast chose to die on. And for Ashley, of all people, to say that Candace goes for the jugular with people is a bit ironic because <laughs> Early seasons, Ashley was probably the most malicious person out there. Anyway, you guys, make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and join us for more. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.